All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. All right. And uh, it's Kazi Josh Jim S. Boston coming back once again with a quick impromptu. All right. Uh, just finished watching uh, a litany of videos. And the uh, spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, this place is done, man. You know, it's, it's so much going on, right? And our people are marching to their own uh, tune, man. All right? When I say our people, two thirds of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, instead of getting right with their Heavenly Father, they're marching to the tune of Esau Edom, you know, and uh, not knowing that this is the end, all right. Now, I just want to bring out a couple of scriptures, you know, nothing long winded, though, as well, you know, um, but I just want to speak on a couple of verses, you know, so. Let me grab uh, <clears throat> Daniel's uh, 5 and 25. All right. And this was to Belzashah. All right. He drunk out of the... Uh, the holy uh, temple uh, uh, utensils, so to speak, and share them among ungodly people. All right, but just listen to what what was said. All right, now I'm gonna start at verse twenty-three. Salaki it says, "But hath lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven." And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and the lords, thy wives and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the, the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know, and the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways have thou not glorified okay and then when you look at that that's the same thing that esau edom is doing in his kingdom all right but we know uh because uh, when you read daniel's 2 all right which we're gonna get all right uh let's just grab it right now 2 and 21 it says, start from 20, Daniel 2 and 20, it says, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High, Yahweh, forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and set up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. All right. And uh, this is what Esau, Edom, they know, but they're doing the same thing that Belshazzar did. Okay. With all their uh, idol worship, with all their... Uh, pseudoscience with all their philosophy and wickedness all right Esau has taken this place on a, a wild ride man okay and it's, it's spoken of in the scriptures you know when you go to the uh let's get it real quick you know
It's Malachi 1 and 4, whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath in the nation forever. All right. So going back to, you know, where I started in Daniel 5. All right. Since they're the border of wickedness, you know, that the Lord has uh, coined them, okay? This place is about to be out of here. It's about to be rooted out, all right? And the same uh, uh, downfall is coming to it in the ways of Egypt, okay, with the pestilence and plagues and its swift judgment, all right? Uh, when you look at Babylon, it was attacked militarily, okay? And when you look at Rome, it collapsed upon itself, okay? And um, <laughs> this is the end of this place, man, all right? When you look at all three of those aspects, all right? And it's just getting down to, to the point of your only hope is Yahweh Shai coming with those chariots from on high, the heavenly hosts, to deliver you out of here and to uh, put your enemies out of their misery. All right. Let me go here real quick. Salaki. Go back to the five. All right, and it said, uh, then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written. All right. And this is the writing that was written, many, many tiko of farson. This is the interpretation of the thing, many, God has numbered thy kingdom, and finished it. Tiko, thou art weighed in the balance, and art found wanting. There is, the kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians, all right? And, uh... <laughs> When you read uh, Ezekiel, all right, the 38th chapter, and that's what's going to happen in this instance, right? All right, when uh, Gog and Magog finally get enough of this place, man, along with those uh, other countries that uh, stated in Jeremiah, the 50 and 51st chapter, all right? So the end is on its way for this place, undoubtedly, Okay. And you see a, a, a lot of going on behind the scenes with World War Three, And it's to the boiling point now. All right. And when you look at the pestilence that's uh, taking over this place. All right. And you can look well to the goings of the, the hot shot. All right. That's going going around. All right. And. uh that's going to produce more more viruses, more illnesses, okay, more than help. And that's the the unknown thing to these people that's going around parading their their pride that they did something about it. But unbeknownst to them, they're falling in the snare that Edom has set for them, all right? Because you got to think of the Georgia Guidestones, okay? The depopulation plan. And that's what's about to happen. Alright. So this place needs to end. Swiftly. Alright. <laughs> this is uh, Psalm 7 and 9. Real quick. Alright. It says. Oh let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish the just. For the righteous. God triumphs the hearts and reigns, all right? And that's why we keep our mind 
okay, single, our eyes single towards Yahweh Bashem and our shy man. Because knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. And you know, our faith and hope in him is going to guide us uh, 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 through Noah's will. There's a time like never before on the face of the earth. Okay, when the time of Jacob's trouble come, when famine hits, when um, plagues and pestilence come, you know, we are to think of these things and refer to the scriptures to to ease our, our spirit, man. Okay. And um, that's something that you're going to see the rest of the world not able to do. Okay. And if so, you know. And if it was so, why would you go and take the hard shot? So, you know, and this is mainly for Israelites, you know. But, like I said, man, the, the, the day is coming, man. The great and notable day of the Lord is here. It's almost here, man. We don't know the time of the hour. But, you know, judging by the uh, second Ezra, the ninth chapter, okay, Let's just grab that real quick. Time is upon us. You know. The water you have about him, you was shy, man, for for letting me see, you know, the 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 grand uh, scheme or design of his of his heavenly plan, man. This is second address nine. And one, it says, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. And we see it. We see the uprisings. We see uh, uh, all the calamities hidden, which are judgments of the Most High. Okay. And we see, uh, you know, the uncertainty on people's face, man. Okay. When you read uh, Ecclesiastes, the 12th uh, uh, chapter, all right, many of these people, they don't know what's, what their life is going, man. Okay. And Esau is the wrong one to uh, uh, have that premonition because. His blessing is the sword. And once he figures that he has nothing to live for, then everybody has to watch out. Because this man, when he when he uh, uh, mentally breaks, he turns irate and turns into Yosemite Sam. Okay? He's the rootingest, tootingest, shooting. You know? Hombre in all the land. <laughs> So, you know, it's definitely seen, okay? Just look at uh, what happened at that FedEx facility. 21-year-old uh, Esau Edom decided to take eight lives and then his own. Coincident? No, I wish I had the video that uh, I watched earlier today with how many shootings, okay, happened in the U.S., between um, 2019 to uh, 2021, okay? So this man got to go. He got to be taken out of power. And this place is is no more. There's nothing good left here, man. And everybody's going to see soon, soon where, you know, he's already lost grips with, with, the, with the government. Okay, his own people are starting to not trust it. And that's the that's the wrong move right there, too. Okay, because that's spoken about. You know, it said it shall be Egyptian against Egyptian. Okay. I think that's uh, Isaiah. Let me see. <clears throat> I 
Isaiah 19 and 2. All right. <sighs> Isaiah 19 and 1. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. All right. And that's, uh, you see that. And that's why so many chariot sightings now. So many chariot sightings is just, it's unfathomable to the people that's not in the know. They've been hearing about it, but they have never seen a chariot until this time. Okay. In 2021. Coming people are getting more and more, uh, photographs, catching them on the ring, uh, the ring systems that they have attached to their doors, flying over neighborhoods, the cameras, you know, on the cell phones, people are picking it up, you know. So this is the time like no other, man. All right. Starting to see a lot happen. And it says, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. All right. And that's what we said, man. So we know that this is the end, just like Second Ezra, the ninth chapter said. All right. Let's go back. This is Revelations eighteen and five. All right. It's lucky. Revelation 18 and 5 For her sins have reached on to heaven And Yahweh our power Have remembered her iniquities Alright From Way back then To right now Okay He hasn't He hasn't been sleeping on this place He's just been recording Alright From when they put their hands on the children of Israel When you read Joel the Third chapter all right. The Most High has been uh, um, waiting patiently to uh, put his hands on Esau, Edom, even from the time of when he was king, okay, all the way to now, and all his acts that he uh, committed from that time. All right. And when I say Esau, I'm not just talking about one person. I'm talking about the nation of Esau, Edom, which are, you know, the Greeks, the Romans, okay, the colonizers, all right, which are the Germans, the pilgrims, so on and so forth, man. They spread, they spread it like a, a disease across the earth. That's why he was a vagabond, but he was running from his, uh, his wicked deed, so to speak. So yeah, this this is his end, man. The Lord is going to come with the kibosh, man, and put it put it to him. All right, and in the end, this is what's going to be his fate right here. Let's get it real quick. Uh, Here. It's Isaiah 14 and 24. It says, The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purposed, so shall it stand. All right? <laughs> that I will break the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread him under feet. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. So that's that's a part of prophecy that's happening, slowly but surely. All right. It says, this is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. All right. Because he's a vagabond. Wherever he went, okay, he tried to uh, kill his brother Jacob. All right, in any form in that in that land where he dwelt, okay, and I'm referring to the great diaspora, all right, <clears throat> and 
the uh in the slave trade, all right, the chattel slavery. <clears throat> right? Uh, uh this is the purpose that the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. For the Lord of hosts hath purposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Okay, so he means to, to destroy this place, man. All right. When you read, uh, uh, um, Second Ezra is the 15, 16 chapter goes in depth of how how the uh, foundation of Babylon the Great, America, Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah is all going to fall apart. Okay. And that's coming swiftly. So with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakah Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. And then we have to stand in the banner of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom, Abad Babal, and Kwam Yasharala.